everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can show and hide a container or any element really based on a query parameter that you would add to your URL. So let's get started. So here, for example, if you visit the page directly, what you have now essentially is just those two sections on top of one of another. But what we want is to show the one at the top when we have this display premium added to the URL and otherwise just show the one at the bottom. So how can we do this? So in Elementor, if we go here, we are using containers, but again, this will work with any section column or uh, any element as well as the containers, of course. So with Elementor, we can add a class name based on, uh, based on the request parameter. So if here it's already set up, so I won't uh, undo it, but you would click on the dynamic tag for the classes. Here I will just do it for the ID to show you. And then you find the request parameter option. So then you choose it and then you click on this uh, icon right here. Type is get parameter name. This could really be anything, but here we are using display. And then under uh, advance. So before, this is just to have a class name that will be there already. So we use show for premium and at the end there is a space there and that's that's important. Then it will be two class names with whatever the, uh, the get parameter returns. So show for premium and then a space at the end. And then the fallback is show for premium with or without space. That one doesn't matter. So that's for the one that we want to show for when it has the premium query parameter set for the display value. And then on the other container that we just want to show by default, that one we still need to hide it when it's this is set to premium. So we essentially have the same setup. So egg, the request parameter, it's the same one, get display. And then before we have show for basic and then there is a space also. Give the cat. So, so then uh, this along with this CSS writer that will be provided in the article is essentially all that you need to get this to work. If you get this working on elements instead of containers, maybe instead of display flex, you could uh, switch to display block for everything to work fine. But if you're using containers, display flex work and with elements, it might work as is uh, as well. So let's uh, update and let's have a look on the front end now. So when the page loads normally by default, that's what we have, the, the basic option. And then if we append this to the URL, so let me move down a little bit so that you can see. So then you, you, uh, you see only this one that was set for premium. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video and the cat fight in the background, and I will see you later. Cheers.